Hey, first graders, right now we are going to do some art together. That's one of the things I miss doing in class is art. So for this art project, to follow along with me, you will need your egg from your packet. You will need some watercolor paints. You will need some masking tape or painter's tape. Either one will work. You will need a paper towel to clean your brush off on. And I almost forgot to have my water. A cup of water to clean your brush with. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do after you put your name on your paper, of course, you can put your name right inside the middle of the egg. That way we always know who it belongs to. Then we are actually going to use the back of your paper first. So we are going to have the back of the paper facing you and you're going to take off a nice big piece of masking tape and I'm gonna get oh maybe that one okay you can always get more if you need to right okay and we are going to make a design on our paper using masking tape now masking tape is actually pretty easy to tear but the trick is to have your fingers really close together. See how my nails are touching? Yeah, on both the front and the back. Fingers close together and pinch it hard and then you just twist and it will come right off. So I'm gonna take a minute here and I am going to start making a design with my masking tape. I started with some polka dots. I tore the tape in half to make it skinnier and did that zigzag. Okay, now I've also put some stripes on there and I, I'm gonna pretend like I put the stripes all the way to the bottom, okay? But for now, I need to do the actual painting. Okay, so I am going to show what my paper looks like, just like that. Okay, and I am going to paint the whole top section green. And I don't have to worry about going around those pieces of tape. I can go right on top of the polka dots just fine. And I don't have to go all the way to the edges of the paper either. It's okay if I don't quite make it to the edge. We don't want to get paint on the counter, right? So I'm gonna go close to the edges, but I don't have to get all the way into the corners and things. Just make sure I get all over, close to the edges. Here we go, okay. Now I'm going to do some stripes. I think I'm going to do alternating. I'm going to do red. And then the next one I'm going to leave blank for now. I'll come back and I'm going to do it purple. So again, I don't have to be careful about touching the tape and I don't have to be careful about getting all the way to the edge. We want to be close to the edge, but it doesn't have to go all the way to the side of the paper. Once you are done painting, you are just going to let it dry. So I've had one that's already been drying. So I'm going to pull that up and show you what you do with it once it's dry. Okay. And this will be easier the more dry you have it. Okay. So looking here, this one's dry. Um, you can see it's kind of curling up on the sides as it dried. Um, but now I'm going to go through and I'm very carefully going to take off all the pieces of tape. And you just have to go very carefully, but it comes off pretty well as long as you really let it dry. If it's still wet, they won't come off very easily. OK. 
Okay, so that one was a little wet. It started to tear the paper. I might end up having to wait a minute to finish this. Got those dots off. And I'm going to do these stripes going across first. Maybe. Yeah. I think I probably should have given this another couple minutes to dry. Okay. The more time you give it to dry, the easier it is to get the tape off. So if your tape is having a hard time coming off, you might just want to let it dry a little bit. You know what? I'm going to come back when it's dry the rest of the way and I can get the rest of the tape off. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back and I was able to get the rest of the paint, uh, rest of the tape off um, once it had finished drying. It just was just a tiny bit wet still. So once you have all of the tape off, it already looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now you're going to turn back over to that first side that had your egg on it and where you put your name. And all you need to do now is cut the egg out on the line. Once you do that, you will have a fun Easter egg that you can put up in your window. And you know what I've heard is that some neighborhoods People are putting eggs in their windows and going on walks to find how many other eggs they can find in windows. So there's my egg all cut out and I have a fun little decoration for Easter. I hope you had fun with that and that you have a great week. See you guys soon.